Berger, who came in and had that 8.8 .8 second stop. But, of course, you've got to add to that 8.8 .8 seconds when he was stationary, the time that it took to slow down, to come into the pit lane, and then to accelerate out of the pit lane and back up to racing speed again. But it's not going to be very long, as Jonathan says, before more of them come in. With David Coulthard, you look back and you can see the two Williams. That's the gap between race leader Schumacher, who's coming, and that's Johnny Herbert spinning. Still very slippery out there if you overdo things. Here's a replay as Herbert spins, and it looks to me as though that is the Tamburello, the approach to the first corner revised complex. So, away goes the Benetton, and here's another replay. Yes, Johnny Herbert getting on the brakes there, locking up the back end of the car, probably with a gearbox down change, caused him to spin around. Alesi into the pits from fourth position. He's already down to fifth because Berger has gone through. So Jean Alesi in on lap eight. Berg, and that's a much that's a better pit stop. 6.7 seconds stationary. You'll have noticed that uh, no fuel was put in the car. They're concentrating on getting the power down in the best possible way. And that's Mimo Schiattarella in the Simtek car, the Italian who is in 18th position has been lapped by the flying Michael Schumacher, who has already lapped Suzuki, Montemini, Badoa, Moreno, Dinez, Wendlinger, Inouye, and Morbidelli. So, 26 started. Schumacher is up to the 17th man now to lap him, and that is Bertrand Cachot. We're on lap nine. Schumacher leads Coulthard now by a whisker under nine seconds. And it's going to be down to the Benetton and the Williams mechanics when these two come in, these three, Schumacher, Coulthard and Hill. Martin Brundle? Yes, and it's still the wet tide runners that are the fastest. Schumacher's just done a new fastest lap of 45.7, so clearly the track is getting uh, a little bit dry, and this is such a difficult decision to make, and the team play a big part in this because they can give you much more information from these time charts that we can all see and much more than the driver knows when he's just doing his job going around the racetrack. The team and the driver have now got to make the right call for when to change these tyres. Well, Schumacher is certainly controlling things. He's keeping rather more than two seconds between himself and David Coulthard. It's 2.4 seconds at the end of the back lap. They're in the 10th now. Damon Hill is maintaining station two seconds behind Coulthard in third position. Gerhard Berger now. It's changing because Berger has just gone fastest, and remember, he's on slicks. So we're at the critical point now where I'm expecting the teams to say, come in, come in, if you're on wet tyres, come in and change to slicks because they have seen that Gerhard Berger in the Ferrari, now in fourth position, and that is him, is the fastest man on the track. He's just gone round in 1 minute 43.44. Yeah, one of the past masters of refueling strategy is Benetton, and that's the man, that's Michael Schumacher. And it's my guess they may be trying to keep him out for as long as they can to make it worthwhile putting fuel in that Benetton and making his tyre stop the first of the three refueling stops I suspect he's going to do. And we saw with Alesi that Ferrari didn't bother. There, was two, there are two few laps done. If Schumacher can stay out for another couple of laps, he will have done 11, and that will make it worthwhile putting some fuel in as the first of those three stops. And down to the Rivazza, Schumacher with Coulthard out of sight. Now, I wonder if the Benetton's going to be coming in this lap. 16.9 seconds was there. There's Coulthard, all is well. Damon Hill behind him in third position. Now down to the Traguardo and into the pit lane comes Michael Schumacher, race leader on lap 10, leading Gerhard Berger, the leading slick tired driver, by 17 seconds on the previous lap. The fastest stop we've had so far, 6.7 seconds, and Damon Hill is in as well. That's on lap 10. And there is David Coulthard, who now therefore leads the San Marino Grand Prix as, after nine seconds, out goes Michael Schumacher. Berger is up into second place. You will have noticed that fuel was put into the Benetton of Michael Schumacher. That is Damon Hill sprinting out of the pit lane as Jean Alesi in the Ferrari goes through, who has yet to stop. Lap 11, then, out of 63. Race order, David Coulthard now leads. 14, 1 4 seconds ahead of Gerhard Berger, but Coulthard has not stopped to go from wet weather tyres to dry weather slicks. Schumacher having stopped.